We're going to talk right now about Children's Peace Project, and to do that, we have uh, Carrie Hull with us. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. And Rodney Montrell. Good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, and uh, let's, before we get too far, let's explain Children's Peace Project, if you will, Carrie. It is a small grassroots nonprofit organization, and we're um, based outright in this community in Prescott. Mm -hmm. It's an all volunteer board of directors and founders. Um, we primarily raise money and work in Haiti and West Africa, s sponsoring schools s through student programs, and we also started um, a new initiative, which is micro businesses mm. for women. That wow. is amazing. Nice. I want to say Goldenstein Gallery carries Mary Fisher's bracelets. She does the same thing in South Africa. It's making bracelets and pieces of jewelry. And this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you are to be applauded for Thank this. You. Now, how does it work? We put people to work doing it. Exactly. This is what we're doing, aren't we? That's right. Yes. Okay. We are, um, what, why don't you describe Zanmitai and how it... Zanmitai is, um, is a Creole, our dialect in Haiti. Mm -hmm. It's a Creole word for friendship. Mm -hmm. So um, the primary purpose of our being there in Haiti is to empower people and give them uh, the essential for them to be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Right. So we wanted to start the business um, with a group of women, mm -hmm. young women, and we linked it to education. So we partnered with a few schools down there and we said we were going to start a network where we could help them mm -hmm. help themselves. And, and they really, it, it helps them mm -hmm. with self-worth, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. when, when they're working and, and, and have the own, their own responsibility, it's really helping the people of Haiti, isn't it? Definitely. Is Definitely. Haiti rebounding? Oh, well, we just, <laughs> we just, well, that, um, <laughs> we, we, that's a huge question. <laughs> that's I'm a huge so sorry. I'm so, okay. But we can answer it anyway. Okay. Um, we just had um, elections. We mm -hmm. have a new, newly elected president, and his name is Michel Martelly. Mm -hmm. uh, he's his if, um, former musician. And um, that, that was a very big step for the country and a very big step toward mm -hmm. constructing the country uh, after the earthquake that you know mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the problem is we, 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 we go, we're going to um, a very sensitive path now mm -hmm. where the executive and the parliament don't seem to be able to reconcile the differences. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds like a, a country we're familiar with. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope they're not modeling after the United much, States, it pretty sounds. Much, pretty much the same. It's a replica of what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same scenario. Yeah. And the part, I'm, I'm, I remain positive, you know, uh, optimistic, you know, that, how, that how, it's going to How much be. time do you spend, actually, in Haiti? Um, most of the, t uh, most most of the, most most of the, the time, time when we go there, you know, we spend uh, an average of a week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. Once and a year. It's, once it's a year. expensive for us to travel mm -hmm. there. Sure. Uh, we like to all the funds to go directly to the, to the kids in the school. So um, we, we try to limit it to one trip a year, mm -hmm. and we invite volunteers to come with us. And, mm -hmm. um, What's the mood of the people there right now? Um, just like I, I specified it earlier, you know, optimistic, but okay. nervous. Okay. Because of the tensions going on between the two instances of government, mm -hmm. and uh, we still have the victims, you know, of the earthquake, you know, living in, in, in improvised mm -hmm. uh, tents. tent cities, you know, still there, mm -hmm. and uh, that makes them a little bit uh, frustrated. But um, areas, they're still they're still hopeful. Areas where those resources are highly overpopulated, so there's but they um, do have a sense strain. of hope. Oh. That, uh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Always. Absolutely. It's always there. Haiti mm -hmm. people are resilient. I, I think they have a very strong sense of hope no matter what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're raising money, you raise money here on this continent. It goes obviously to them. Uh, they make bracelets. Uh, we have a coffee mm -hmm. uh, project or business going on now right. too. These um, mm -hmm. coffee beans are from Haiti. They're shade grown, organic, and another nonprofit in Wisconsin, she, bring, she brings in the green beans and she roasts them in the country, so we get them in fresh, mm. freshly roasted here in Prescott, and so we order them like 300 bags at a time. It's okay, coffee now, for they, a cause. The, the beans come from Haiti. Exactly. They, the beans are shipped to Wisconsin, and she has a nonprofit as well. Where when I buy the beans from her roasted, part of her proceeds go to schools in Haiti, and then when we get the, we have them specially packaged for Children's Peace Project, coffee for a cause, and then. The proceeds that we sell go to education as so well. These so these beans really get around. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's <laughs> these, are, yeah. these, are, these are well traveled, yes, yes, well -traveled are, beans. Uh, also, I, sometimes I feel like dinner and dancing 
and, mm -hmm. a, and an auction. Would yeah. you have any suggestions yes, for that? Yes, the Prescott Resort on Friday, December 2nd. We have our official first dinner. Last year we had a wine and cheese just to kind of get us started. And this is our first big gala. So um, Rodney will be up here for that. Mm -hmm. Hope that AZTV will come and get a table and help us raise some money. So, so we can go as an individual, a couple, or a table. Mm -hmm. is exactly. That, is that exactly. the ways we can buy? Sure. Right. Or we can just write you a check. That's right. Yes. We don't even have to be there. That's true. <laughs> Donating online. If you get on to our e-newsletter, you get all of our announcements, our invitations, and all the notifications of what's going on and where the money's going. How are people responding so far? Are we raising several thousands of dollars? Are we? Yeah, we, we have raised. I just We have a board meeting tomorrow, so I just uh, did a report. So mm -hmm. we're close to raising about $40,000 for our little chari charity since 2009 where we've built a classroom in West Africa. We've, um, out right after the earthquake, we donated $5,000 to rescue an orphanage that, uh, that had collapsed. And then we started our student sponsorship and our Zanma tie. So mm -hmm. we're, we're just, you know, we just cook along. So we are along. like a little so. business ourselves. We take in money, we invest it, and, and so. There seems to be a direct uh, correlation between um, when, when the people understand you what you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, they connect with mm -hmm. your cause mm -hmm. and they give. Yeah. And uh, peace, CPP, you know, Children Peace Project, we're making a lot of progress in Haiti. Yeah. You know, every time I go to Haiti, you know, it's a totally different experience. You learn about the people, you learn about their needs, you learn mm -hmm. about um, uh, their hopes, yeah. their fears, and their potential mm -hmm. as well. We, so, we only go there once a year, but we're in contact with them every week. We have staff that's paid in the field. We're all volunteer, but all the money. So we employ people in Haiti. We also yeah. sponsor the students at their schools. So all the money is go going is that Haiti way. Is Haiti slowly being rebuilt? Is, is there progress being made? Can you vi see the progress? Um, they're not that visible, you know, mm. unless, you know, you are very close to the uh, people responsible, you know, for you know, spreading the money around, you know, mm -hmm. to make things happen. But, you know, I have seen some indication that yeah. things, may, things might get better So it's later. slow right now. It's very slow, you know, uh, very slow. Now they make the bracelets, they're sent to you, we sell them here, is this correct? That's right. Right now I'm selling them. Uh, I, my husband and I own an art business, so we bring our little Zanmatei. So Zanmate. how much are the bracelets They're $12 each or mm -hmm. two for 20 Okay. And mm -hmm. they're, they're sold online. I'm also going to get them in galleries and also in wherever the coffee is sold around town, Raskin's Jewelers, mm -hmm. um, Element Salon. Throughout town, we have these little displays set up. Very so. nice. Which Thank one you. do I want? It looks very pretty on Tanya. <laughs> I don't know which every one I want. I think you have a Put customer. this one on me also. I'm going to wear them both. And at the end of the show, you stay here. I will write you a check for one of them. <laughs> okay. I want to see which one I like the best. Absolutely. <laughs> on my arm. And as he... And, and as he, Charlotte... You need to put one on and wear. We have some colors here. Every, every they look beautiful on you. Original. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, people can find you website. They can find ev everything they want to know there. Yep. Childrenspeaceproject.org. Thank you Terrific so much. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you you should know better than to bring jewelry in front of me. <laughs> thank you. I mean, you know what happens no, no, when they, I see jewelry. I know, and that's what they wanted. <laughs> yeah. They got what they wanted, Tony. <laughs> when we come back, Charlotte Mortimer is here, and Sweet Corn Harvest. There are Still, here is the sweet corn to be had for you. Remember, Children's Peace Project. When we come back, Charlotte's in the kitchen with us.